Assalamualaikum and a very good day to everyone. My name is Siti Nur Atira Binti Jamri from UITM Jengke. I will be presenting my final year project entitled Post Harvest Analysis on Pineapple in Malaysia, a review under supervision Dr. Siti Khadijah Binti Abdul Karim. Chapter 1, Introduction. What is pineapple? Pineapple, or in scientific name as Ananas Camusus, is tropical fruit rich in vitamins and compounds applicable to the food industry. The name is taken as it resembles pine cone and native to South Africa. The most essential pineapple producers globally are from Thailand, Philippines, India and Mexico. However, Malaysia's pineapple industry also developed rapidly as the pineapple-based commodity exported in 2019. Malaysia had imported its pineapple products to many countries such as Singapore, Brunei and Hong Kong. Next is post-harvest. Post-harvest handling helps to retain the freshness of the nutrients in the pineapple. Having good management in post-harvest handling will have the highest quality of the pineapple and give satisfaction to the consumers. Post-harvest plays a vital role in producing better fruit quality. Its process, starting from harvesting to marketing, need to be analysed to determine whether consumers accept lower or higher pineapple quality. In this thesis, we discuss the knowledge of post-harvest analysis on steps of handling to the marketing for producing the better quality of pineapple in Malaysia. We can help the farmers and producers to produce a better quality of pineapple fruit. In addition, we need to study the methods to prevent further increases for post-harvest loss. The objective of study is First, to study the step carried out in the post-harvest of pineapple. Second, to determine the effect of post-harvest management on fruit quality. And third, to identify the method to prevent post-harvest loss of pineapple fruit. The research objective is, first, is there any specific steps for post-harvest handling of pineapple? Second, is there any disease or effect? that occur during post-harvest of pineapple? And third, what is the best method that can be used to prevent post-harvest loss from occurring? Chapter 2, Literature Review There are eight major pineapple varieties have been cultivated in Malaysia such as Morris, N36, Sarawak, Gandul, Yankee, Josephine, Mesafine and most recently MD2. Pineapple can be categorized in a group. For example, Morris and Yankee are cultivars within Queen Group, MD2 and Josephine in Hybrid Group, whereas Sarawak in Cayenne Group and Gandul in Spanish Group. Selected pineapple need to suit the intended demand at the optimum maturity and ripeness level. When the fruit have reached full size and pleasant yellow color, Pineapple are considered matured depending on variability. However, there is certainly not a specific foolproof measure of maturity for pineapple. Next post-harvest step is cleaning. Within a day after harvest, the outside of the fruit needs to be cleaned in the wash water using chlorinate at pH between 6.5 to 7. For the waxing step, the wax treatment was applied by dipping or spraying using paraffin or polyethylene. The use of wax for pineapple is required as it can help to reduce the internal brown and external appearance. Next, sorting step which are to make sure that the pineapple is clean and free from dirt and it is well shaped to be prepared to pack. The last step is the packaging. The pineapple will be, will be inserted into the cartoons. The main step that farmers need to be concerned are the storage temperature for the pineapple. According to Paul and Chain 2014, pineapple could be storage at 7 to 12 degrees Celsius. However, Joy and Rashida 2016 
recommended that the temperature of 8 degrees Celsius can be used. Furthermore, temperature during transportation also critical. Different shipping types have different temperature setting. For all type of maturity shipping by land can be set at 7 to 12 degrees Celsius. If by sea, for matured green fruit is 10 degrees Celsius and for advanced maturity is at 7 degrees Celsius. Whereas for air shipment, pineapple harvest at advanced maturity can be used and store temporarily at 7.5 degrees Celsius before being transported. Pineapple are capable of several post-harvest disease. Infection of pineapple are associated with fungi, bacteria, nematode and viruses. The first disease is blood root. This disease occur caused by fungus Tilaviopsis paradoxa. It occur when the fungus enter the fruit through the broken wound or natural opening in the fruit shell during harvest. The most effective control of this disease is by deep in the fungicide. Second disease is yeast fermentation caused by Saccharomyces species. The control of this disease is by carefully handling during harvest and post-harvest treatment to protect from fungus attack. Lastly, is the internal browning which is the physiological disorder as low as cobic acid content. The study from Selvaja 2001 stated that by using one methyl cyclopropane, the internal browning can be eliminated as it binds to the ethylene receptor and block ethylene perception to slow down the ripening of fruit. However, internal browning in pineapple has not previously been demonstrated to be due to ethylene. Post-harvest loss is the degradation of food production's quantity and quality from harvest to consumption. Causes of post-harvest loss is due to the poor handling practice by the harvesters. Farmers harvest fruit other than it peaks degree of crop maturity. The strategies that can be suggested to prevent this from occur is the farmers need to harvest pineapple at its correct maturity. Next is due short shelf life of the fruit. The farmers need to carefully select only top quality fruit without any sign of injury for storage so it can prolong the shelf life of pineapple. Poor handling during transportation and poor air circulation in transport also can result in to post-harvest loss. The strategy suggested is to train the workers about the handling procedures and the producers also should provide suitable vehicle that clean and have well-ventilated covered at the top for transportation. When we talk about post-harvest, its preservation methods also important. Preservation is the process of keeping foods against waste and decay. The benefits of preservation are that it will save time in the preparation of the fruits and stabilize the price of the food in the market. Pineapple can be preserved by using chemical food or processing it into another product. Chemical food such as sugar, vinegar and salt can inhibit the bacterial and fungal growth. According to the Food and Agriculture Organizations, there are three types of processing food. The primary type is basic cleaning, grading and packaging. Second type is modifying the basic product to a stage before final preparation at the consumer's kitchen. And the third type is high value added ready to eat products like ice cream and jams. Chapter 3 Conclusion and Recommendation to be concluded, the steps and stages during the post-harvest management are crucial as they can affect the condition of the fruits once it was harvested. The disease or any damage of the fruits can deduct the quality of pineapple, thus affect the post-harvest loss. Every producer needs to study the fruit maturity and harvest time to prevent the overrip of the fruit during harvest. Training workers on harvesting procedures can produce a good quality management. Moreover, research study on post-harvest loss strategies need to be improved to overcome the loss of fruit quality in the future. That is all from me. Thank you and have a nice day everyone.